Hi, right, in this video we're gonna be going through how to delete rows from a table, an actual Excel table, which is in VB8 parlance is called a list object. We're gonna be looping through that table starting at the bottom. We're gonna use data body range, we're gonna use list rows, we're gonna use an if statement to delete some stuff, and we're gonna use uh, the header rows when we do some cleanup, and then we're just gonna make the code more dynamic. So. Uh, it should be fun. It's a little bit more challenging just because the uh, list object is a little different. It's slightly different than the uh, what you're used to as far as sheets um, and ranges, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to start this with sub list ob loop. That's what we're going to call our sub. Then we're, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define our uh, variables or define our objects. We're going to do lo as list object. And then we're going to set this list object lo equal to. Now you'll notice I've got my raw data over here. And if I click inside this table and I go to table design, I've got, it's called table one. Now I do have multiple tables in here. This is why this can be powerful because if you have multiple tables, you don't want to delete those entire rows. You're going to be deleting a lot of data. That is a bad thing. Now you'll notice that raw data here is the same as this raw data here. And so I know that the code name is sheet one dot list objects. And I know the name because I showed you that is table one. So if I click in here and go to table design, it is table one. Uh, you can also use an index. So if I used one, that would actually show up as well. So now I've got my table. So now let's loop from the bottom to the top. So we're gonna, we need to start with uh, for RW equals L O dot uh, data body range. And this is where it's slightly different. Data body range dot rows dot count. So that's going to give me the very last row. And then we're going to go to the first row, but we need to step this, which is the code here, uh, by minus one. And that's going to basically start us at the bottom. RW is going to start with the column length or the column size, which it looks like it's going to be 398. Um, and it's going to step by minus one, which means it's going to stop, start here and go up one. Now you'll also notice that I've got a column here, uh, or an ex excuse me, an extra row. That would be a problem if we were just doing a code based on the sheet. Uh, it would get a little bit more complicated. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use our if statement. We're going to go lo dot data body range again dot sorry rw comma one because we're just going to be looking in this first column and we're going to look for everything that is greater than 30. and what we're going to do then is we're going to cause an error because i did not put a then statement even though i said it we're going to do lo dot list rows and we're going to put in our uh, number there and we're going to go dot delete and so this is a simple loop that will come in here and it's going to delete any row that is, uh, it's gonna delete anything that is greater than 30. Now my, sub, my data is pretty big, so let's do less than 30. That, that'll be better for this because it'll be harder to see. Uh, the next thing that we wanna do is we just wanna turn off screen updating um, to make it run faster. So we're gonna have application screen updating equals false um, and what this allows it to do is instead of actually going in and refreshing the screen every time a change is made this actually goes in and turns that off um, and it makes your code run a lot faster so let's come in here let's i'm going to put a uh, a little break there i'm going to hit f5 which is going to get me to row 397 which i can see in my locals window come down here i'm at Three. So again, 398, which means that this guy right here passes because it's greater than 30, or, or it's, it's greater than 30, so it's not going to be deleted. This happens to be less than, so if we hit F8, um, 
it's probably not going to do anything while well, it does because we freeze our code but it deletes that and so let's go ahead and run this the whole way and you'll notice that now we've got a smaller subset with these rows deleted nothing changes over here nothing changes over here so let's make this a little bit more dynamic so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and say you know what i want to know a about the header row. So we're gonna loop through the header row and find out if we can actually make this dynamic so that we can search for these. So we're gonna go for CL, which is the variable I use for column, equals one to LO dot header row range dot count, which is gonna give me the number of headers. I'm gonna end my loop. And then I'm gonna say if LO dot header row range and we're going to put in my variable and that's we're going to go equals and this time let's do uh, horse let's do weight okay we've got weight here and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to put this in a single single row uh, we're going to do exit four okay so what this is going to do is we are going to look for the header. So what we're going to do is we're going to be trying to figure out weight. Um, and we want a weight. And we're just going to use a variable num equals to 4500. Actually, let's do 2500 because these are efficient vehicles. So now what I can do is I can come in here and I can clean this up a little bit and I can say, wait a sec, I want to know, um, this is going to go through and when it finds weight, it's going to find that this is the fifth column. And so then if it is equal to weight, it's going to exit the four. And so it's going to start here. That's not weight. That's not weight. That's not weight. That's not weight. That is weight. And then it's going to um, exit the four. So we will have the column. So now we can come in here and change this to CL. We can change this to num. And now what we've got is we've got a dynamic um, more dynamic code here because we're looking through the header ranges. Now I'm not going to do it here, but you could actually put it this in a um, you could put in two text boxes or two input boxes. So you ask the user, but let's go ahead and walk through this. So I'm going to do it pretty slow. Um, so this is going to go through. It's going to go to the next one, and you'll notice that my column is counting up. It counts to five, it exits four, and so now I've got that as my CL, which is going to be in my body data range. So the num is going to be 2500, so everything that's less than 2500 is going to be deleted. And I may only have a couple in here, but you'll notice that it's going to keep going and it's going to delete my list. You'll notice that it is on 91, so it's going to be down here a little bit. Um, but these are all going to be deleted, and so now I will not have any rows. But that makes my code a little bit more dynamic, um, and obviously it shrinks it down a little bit. But then I can come in here and um, set these variables as I need, um, and I can loop through the top and loop through the bottom um, and capture that stuff. So this is quite a bit of information, but I hope this is helpful. Uh, please check out the links in the comments below. If you like the video, please please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks.